Hello and welcome back everybody, this is Mohamed Said with you again. In this video, we're going to start a new Python project series. So I'm going to try to make this series as easy as possible so that anyone who is advanced or a beginner can watch this video. Um, but if you are a complete beginner, you have to watch my um, Python tutorial first. That's going to teach you the basics. Then you can also apply the basics on this tutorial. So... If you guys like this video, please tell me in the comments below so I can continue making um, the same type of videos. So yeah, let's get started. So I just removed my camera because I don't know where to put it. Because um, if I put it bottom right, if I put anywhere on the screen, it's going to cover on the text. So because as you see here, we have a lot of text that's um, pretty long. So it's going to cover so... You can guys tell me in the comments what to do, but for now, I'm just going to deactivate the camera. Okay. First of all, it's going to ask us for our name, um, and it's going to take this as an input. So, it's going to say name equal input, then curly brackets, um, and uh, quotation marks. After the quotation marks, here we're going to put what we want to be printed, what we want to ask. Um, of course, here, um, if you want to print something that is already an object that's already printed, uh, you can just, you need to remove those quotation marks. So, like, if I've already created an object called, um, um, let's just call it object, for instance, object. If you already made something before and called the object, you're going to say, um, name equal input object here so it's gonna print in what you said um as an object so i'm just gonna remove this get back to what we did okay now after this we're going to print um welcome name and then to this adventure so as you see here we split our sentence into th into three parts why is that? Because we want to put in an input, we want to put in um, data that is already stored in the middle of our text. So what we're going to do is we're going to say welcome as if we're putting something on its own, then comma, then name without um, quotation marks because this is already stored. And then the same thing to this adventure as to our welcome. So we're going to put a comma um quotation marks then to this adventure and now we're going to say answer equal to input which means we're going to create an input and we're going to call it answer um and inside our answer um we're going to say um answer equal input um we're going to say you are on the dirt road it has come to an end you can go left or right which way would you like to go the only reason I put input over here is because um, that is because we are we want an answer. After this question, there is an answer to be given. So yeah, if if we don't have an answer, you just wanna you just wanna store this. You can just remove this input over here. But this is what we want. So yeah, after that here, we're going to say. Um, if answer is equal equal to left here our answer is what we wrote it says here which way would you like to go left or right um, so what I mean here um, is that the answer that you said if your answer is equal to left and you see here guys I already put in two um, two equals that is because um, this is an object it's already stored so yeah we already have this data we don't need to get another like we don't need to get the data we already have it so yeah now after that if if our answer is equal to left we're going to do the same thing we're going to print something that we're going to answer to um so we're going to say answer is equal to input you come to a river you can walk around it or swim across type walk to walk uh to walk around and swim to swim across okay so now after that in the same method the same way that we wrote our if statement here if answer is equal to left we're gonna say if our answer is equal to swim 
we're gonna print because we are going to die here if you swim the water you're gonna you're gonna get eaten by an alligator so you lose we're not gonna say answer is equal to input because you already lost there's nothing to answer to um so yeah here we have three if statements so that's why we wrote oh if over here if you only have two if statements you can say if then else if you have three you can you have to do it in this order if then elif then else so um yeah um and then if uh you swim you're gonna uh you're gonna be eaten by an alligator and all if all if is like it's the extension like it's um putting if and else together so it's gonna be out if um the answer is equal to walk equal equal to walk um we're gonna print you walked for many miles you ran out of water and you lost the game so in these both scenarios um if you go to left and if you say swim or walk any one of those um you're done you're stuck so yeah if you go to left you're stuck you're done you're dead so yeah um and now here after that we're gonna say else um it's not a valid option if you didn't write anything from um uh, type walk or swim it's not a valid option so yeah um and now let's go after this and here um okay here we're gonna say i think yeah here L if the answer is equal to right we're going to input um in the same way we're going to answer equal to input you come to a bridge it looks wobbly do you want to cross it or go around uh, you want to cross it or head back if you say if your answer is equal to back um you're going to print you go back and lose and here we're gonna see, we're gonna use L if so that is because after everything we're gonna put in an else that is it is not a valid option so yeah um the only reason that we'll put our else over here is because this um this is inside our um if we swim across swim across we're gonna put in what happens if we swim across and then um yeah that's why you will put our um else over here okay so after that you come up you come to a bridge if you go back you lose and if you cross you cross the bridge and meet a stranger do you talk to them yes or no so here this is um this is what i'm going to talk about guys uh here we have above here in the beginning if you swim or walk both of those you're gonna die but here this is another scenario um if you go where was it um where where okay it looks wobbly if you go back you lose if you cross it you win so yeah you don't necessarily win because the game's not over yet but yeah um you meet a stranger and you talk to them yes or no if you talk they give you gold um and if you don't talk you ignore them and the stranger uh, tries to kill you and you turn your back on them um so this is just my example this is what i like this is what i created it's just an example you guys can put in whatever you want over here so yeah um you can also put in like it's getting dark um no here um you turn your back on them they try to kill you but you manage to escape um so yeah and now here um you talk to the stranger and they give you gold this is only if you say yes and here you see guys not like before before we used to use answer is equal to input um but here we're going to print then get our answer so we're not gonna write uh like what the stranger does because we separated this in a print statement then um you can say print answer is equal to input if you don't want to do this you can also like copy this and put it over here um in the beginning so yeah but we're not gonna do that because this is more simpler and um yeah you don't like need to scroll over a uh, scroll all the way here to see what you need to lie uh what you need to type in because it is already really long 
<clears throat> so yeah <clears throat> now after this um you need this it uh if you said yes you, it's getting dark and you need a place to sleep you walk by a village do you stay there or find another place um so here is our else statement from on top and if our answer is equal to yes you stay there for a night and the ancient and an ancient tribe attacks um and you die and if your answer is equal to no you decide to find another place to stay in you find a cave do you stay there yes or no so yeah here this is what i talked about um it's not a valid option this is something that we're gonna use is use it as else the only reason i didn't put it next to the if and l if is because like we don't want it to be really um like we need it to be simple so you can anybody can understand this code so yeah uh after that it's gonna say like we didn't lose but the game's already over it didn't like i didn't create more content to it you didn't put in more stuff to it um yeah you didn't put in more stuff to it so after you do it it's gonna print in thanks for trying and then your name so let's try the game it's ask you for it asks you for your name my name is muhammad okay you come um welcome to this adventure like it's not gonna be fear because i already know the answers because i'm i created it so um yeah it's not gonna be fear but i'm just testing it i'm not like really playing it so i'm gonna go on the right i'm just gonna put in the stuff that's gonna let me win here right you come to a bridge i'm gonna cross it um you meet a stranger yes we're gonna talk it's getting dark you need a place to stay in i want to leave um uh, leave oh uh, it's gonna wait what happened here it's gonna need a place to stay for the night stay or leave Oh, so, yeah, well, I, I wrote leave incorrectly, so I just died. So, yeah, that's it for this video. So, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. And if you did, please don't forget to share and like and, and subscribe to this uh, video. So, yeah, that's it for this one. See you in the next one. Bye.